Section 1. The first bite why intros matter. We've all been there. You open a book eager to dive in, but the first few lines are dull, lifeless. You start to wonder if the rest of the book will be the same. That's the power of an introduction. It can make or break your reader's experience. A good introduction is like a handshake. It's a chance to make a good first impression, to grab your reader's attention and make them want to keep reading. Think of it as offering a delicious appetizer. You want them hungry for more. But what makes a good introduction? And how can you write one that will hook your reader from the very first sentence? That's what we're here to explore. We'll delve into the art of crafting introductions that are both engaging and informative. Ready to reel in your readers? Let's dive in. Section 2. Setting the stage crafting intros for each section. Now that we understand the importance of a strong introduction, let's delve deeper into how to use them effectively throughout your writing. Crafting intros for each section is like laying down stepping stones for your readers, guiding them smoothly from one idea to the next. Each section of your work needs its own mini introduction. These mini introductions act as signposts, giving your readers a clear sense of direction. Think of it like transitioning between scenes in a movie. Just as a director sets the scene for each new act, you need to set the stage for what's coming next in your writing. You need to set the stage for what's coming next. This helps maintain a coherent flow and keeps your readers engaged. Imagine you're writing about the benefits of meditation. You wouldn't jump right into discussing breathing techniques after talking about stress at work. You'd need a bridge to connect these ideas. This bridge is your mini introduction. It prepares the reader for the transition, making the shift in topics feel natural and seamless. For instance, you might say, so how can we combat the daily grind and find a moment of peace? This question directly relates to the previous section and smoothly transitions into the next topic. Let's explore the world of meditation. This sets the stage for the new section, making the reader eager to learn more. See what we did there? We created a seamless transition that keeps the reader engaged and curious about what's to come. Asking a question related to the previous section and then answering it in the next keeps the narrative flow intact. It also helps in maintaining the reader's interest. This technique ensures that your readers are not left hanging. They feel guided and supported throughout their reading journey. Always answer the question you pose before moving on to the next section. This creates a sense of closure and readiness for the new topic. What are some of your favorite ways to transition between sections? Do you use questions, anecdotes, or perhaps a brief summary of what's to come? Share your thoughts in the comments. We'd love to hear your strategies and tips for crafting effective section intros. Remember, the goal is to make your writing as engaging and accessible as possible. Thoughtful transitions can make a significant difference in how your work is received. So, take the time to craft those mini introductions. Your readers will thank you for it, and your writing will shine all the more. Happy writing, and may your transitions be smooth and your sections captivating. Section 3. The Question Game. Engaging your readers. In this section, we will explore how to use questions effectively to captivate your audience and keep them hooked from start to finish. Questions are powerful tools in writing. They serve as a bridge between the writer and the reader, creating a dynamic interaction that goes beyond passive reading. They invite your reader to think, to engage with your words on a deeper level. When a reader encounters a question, it prompts them to pause and reflect making the reading experience more interactive and memorable. But not all questions are created equal. Some questions can fall flat, while others can spark curiosity and drive engagement. The key is to ask questions that are relevant, thought-provoking, and directly tied to your content. This means crafting questions that resonate with your audience's interests and experiences. Let's say you're writing about the importance of exercise, this is a topic that many people can relate to, but how you frame your questions can make a big difference. Instead of asking a generic question like, do you exercise? Try something more specific. A generic question might not elicit much thought or response. Have you ever noticed how much better you feel after a good workout? This question is more engaging because it taps into a common experience and invites the reader to reflect on their own feelings. That's because exercise releases endorphins, which have mood-boosting effects. See the difference? 
By providing a bit of information, you not only engage the reader, but also educate them. The second question is more engaging because it's directly related to the topic and offers a sneak peek into the information you're about to share. It sets the stage for a deeper dive into the subject matter. Remember, always answer the question you pose before moving on. This ensures that your reader feels satisfied and informed rather than left hanging. This keeps the information flowing smoothly and ensures your reader doesn't feel lost. A well-answered question can also serve as a natural transition to the next point you want to make. What are some questions you have about writing engaging content? Think about the topics you write about and the questions that could spark interest and discussion among your readers. Let's start a conversation in the comments. Share your thoughts, questions and experiences. Engaging with your readers in the comments section can further deepen the connection and make your content more impactful. By fostering a community of engaged readers, you not only enhance the value of your content, but also build a loyal audience that looks forward to your next piece. So, what are you waiting for? Start asking those engaging questions and watch your reader interaction soar. Remember, the goal is to create a dialogue, not a monologue. Your readers have valuable insights and experiences to share, and by asking the right questions, you can tap into that wealth of knowledge and make your content truly resonate. So, next time you sit down to write, think about the questions you can ask to engage your readers. Make them specific, relevant, and thought-provoking. And most importantly, be ready to answer them in a way that adds value to your content. Happy writing, and may your questions always lead to meaningful conversations and deeper connections with your readers. Section 4. Beyond the Page Calls to Action and Surveys You've crafted a captivating introduction, seamlessly transitioned between sections, and kept your readers engaged with thought-provoking questions. But your journey doesn't end there. The next step is to transform passive readers into active participants. Now what? It's time to take it a step further and encourage interaction beyond the page. This is where calls to action and surveys come into play, serving as bridges between your content and your audience's engagement. Think about it. Do you prefer reading an article that feels like a one-sided lecture or one that invites you to participate in the conversation? Most people would choose the latter. Engaging content is not just about delivering information, it's about creating a dialogue. Most people would choose the latter, that's where calls to action and surveys come in. They transform your content from a monologue into a conversation, making your readers feel valued and heard. A call to action could be as simple as asking your readers to share their thoughts in the comments or inviting them to check out a related resource. It could also be more direct, like encouraging them to subscribe to your newsletter or follow you on social media. Surveys are a great way to gather feedback and learn more about your audience's preferences. They provide valuable insights that can help you tailor your content to better meet your readers' needs. For example, you could ask, what kind of content would you like to see more of? This question not only shows that you care about your readers' opinions, but also helps you understand what topics resonate most with your audience. Or how likely are you to recommend this article to a friend? This question can give you an idea of how impactful your content is and how likely it is to be shared. By actively engaging with your readers, you create a sense of community and encourage them to become active participants in the conversation. This sense of community can lead to increased loyalty and a stronger connection with your audience. Ready to put your knowledge to the test? Take our quick survey and tell us what you think. Your feedback is invaluable and helps us create content that truly resonates with you. Remember, the goal is to create a two-way street where information flows both ways. When readers feel like they are part of the process, they are more likely to engage, share, and return for more. Calls to action and surveys are not just tools for engagement, they are opportunities to build relationships. They show your readers that their opinions matter and that you are listening. So don't hesitate to ask for feedback, encourage comments, and invite your readers to participate. The more you engage with your audience, the more they will engage with you. In conclusion, Calls to action and surveys are powerful tools that can transform your content from a static piece of information into a dynamic conversation. They help you understand your audience better, create a sense of community, and build lasting relationships. So what are you waiting for? Start incorporating calls to action and surveys into your content today and watch your engagement soar.
Your readers are waiting to be heard. Thank you for joining us in this chapter. We hope you found it insightful and are excited to put these tips into practice. Happy engaging. Section five, the last word, wrapping up with a bang. We've reached the end of our journey, but the conversation doesn't have to stop here. Just like a memorable meal leaves you wanting more, a strong conclusion should leave your reader with something to ponder. Think back to the key points you've covered. What's the one message you want your reader to take away? Summarize your main points and end with a final thought-provoking question or a call to action. This encourages your readers to continue engaging with your content even after they've finished reading. Remember, writing is not a one-way street. It's about creating a dialogue, sparking a conversation, and leaving your readers with a lasting impression. So, as we wrap up, we leave you with this. What will you write today to captivate your audience and leave them wanting more? Share your thoughts in the